Have you ever seen a baby on an ultrasound? For a lot of people, seeing a baby on an ultrasound can be a life-changing moment. For couples with a pregnancy, for several weeks before they have that ultrasound, they know that they're expecting a baby. But after they see that child on the ultrasound, then they know, then they know that they're having a baby. That ultrasound allows them to see with their eyes the child in an absolutely unique way. It pulls back the curtain so that in an undeniable way, they know there's a brand new human being in there. That experience can be exhilarating, but it can also be very terrifying. It can be scary. The first time that I saw my first kid in that first ultrasound, it was like a curtain being pulled back, and I knew that nothing was going to be the same after that ever again. The disciples had one of these pull back the curtain moments with Jesus, and it was a moment that was infinitely more revealing. The bit of scripture we're going to be looking at comes from Matthew chapter 17, verses 1 through 9. So Matthew chapter 17. The disciples knew Jesus was God. At least they thought they knew. Jesus had been telling them this, and they said that they believed that Jesus was God on several occasions. One time, though, Jesus took them up onto a mountain and were told that up there he was transfigured that his clothes became like lightning and that he became blinding like the sun. Just for a brief moment, he showed his disciples a small taste of his glory as God. And now if the disciples knew that Jesus was God before, now they knew in a very new way that Jesus was God. Jesus pulled back the curtain for a short moment and just blew their minds. And then a voice came from heaven that said, This is my son whom I love. With him I am well pleased. Listen to him. And the transfiguration plus the voice, it was just too much for the disciples. And they threw themselves on the ground in terror. Because now they knew that Jesus was God. But then they heard a voice. Don't be afraid. And they looked up at Jesus. And the vision passed. And there was Jesus, their friend, their teacher. But now they knew that he was much more than that. See, if you really, truly, fully understand who Jesus is, that he is God Almighty, then there should be a part of you that is terrified. Because to know that Jesus is really, truly, fully God Almighty is to know that he's holy and he demands holiness and he demands perfection. That's what it means to be holy and perfect. And that part of you, the sinful nature in there, knows that you're not holy and that God's glory and power and wrath for imperfection it ought to consume you and do away with you. But there's another part of you, a new creation, who listens to Jesus' voice when he says, don't be afraid. And that part of you, when it looks up at Jesus, sees that, yeah, there's a holy, righteous God, but that there's also a loving, merciful God, a loving, merciful God who loves you, who has redeemed you and now calls you calls you by name to not be afraid of him. And after seeing that ultrasound, the parents often see themselves as different. They now see themselves walking out of that doctor's office with a brand new identity. So did the disciples when the curtain got pulled back there uh, at that transfiguration. And so do you and I when we realize that the God of all power and glory, he loves us and he calls us by name into his family. So here's an activity for today. There's a great classic hymn that focuses on this holiness and awesomeness of God. It's titled, Holy, 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 Lord God Almighty. And here's what I want you to do. Search for the song, Holy, 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 and find a favorite version. You know, listen to a couple of them, find a favorite one, and add it to one of your playlists. doesn't matter which, just add it to a playlist. Yeah, I've got a link to my favorite version below by uh, Audrey Asad. And so with the moments you need to be reminded that you've got a holy and powerful God who is in control, hit the play button and see if you can memorize this hymn maybe and use it when you need to pull back the curtain uh, and remember who Jesus really is. Let's pray. Dear Jesus, it's easy for me to forget who you are. You are the all-powerful God of this universe. You brought this world into being, and you will come again one day as the world's ultimate judge. And that thought can terrify me. Don't let me forget it, though. 
But please also keep in my heart that you are a loving God who died for me, rose for me, and now works through all things for me. In your awesome name I pray. Amen. Thanks for joining me for this moment of peace. There's a link to the Lumo Project's dramatization of this part of scripture below. And be sure to press the subscribe button below if you want to know when the next devotion is going to be posted. And check out this video's full description below for other ways to stay connected and active uh, with your church family here at St. Paul. Go in peace. Mm -hmm.